Chapter 1 Overview It doesn't matter what industry it's used in or what size it is. The essentials of erecting and dismantling scaffolding are the same. When you walk away from a scaffold, it has to be 100% correct. Other people depend on you doing it right. When you don't follow the essentials, the results can be death, destruction and injury. People can build scaffolding up to four metres high without a basic licence, but they do need to be trained properly. Any scaffolding which is over four metres high requires the scaffolders to have a high risk licence. This DVD is about how to erect, alter and dismantle modular scaffolding. Modular means all these different pieces fit together. The three main parts of the erected scaffold are a lift, which goes up, a panel, which goes across, and the bay, which is the area enclosed by four standards next to each other. Two people can erect a scaffold up to four metres. Higher than that, you need three or more people to erect the scaffold. You've got to have a plan of how you're going to work. Be aware of hazards and follow any safety procedures. A hazard is something that can create a risk. It could harm someone. You need to understand any drawings or plans that are needed for the job. Make sure the ground conditions will bear the load of the scaffolding and people and equipment. You need to understand the manufacturer's instructions and select and inspect the right equipment for the job. You must know how to work safely at heights when you erect and dismantle a scaffold. Scaffolders must be trained in every aspect of fall prevention. Every lift must be fully decked. That means all the planks are fitted in. This is a construction platform and it's where you stand on both feet when you erect or dismantle a scaffold. The scaffold must be erected one bay at a time. This is called sequential erection. There must be safe access to the scaffold using a stairway or a ladder. A working platform is where tradespeople work and it must have guardrails, midrails and tow boards. This is called full edge protection and prevents people and equipment falling from the scaffold. You've got to understand all the steps from start to finish so you can erect scaffolding correctly. And you must also understand all the steps in how to dismantle it correctly. If you don't understand anything, ask your supervisor. Finally, part of your job is to clean up and put away safely. How you do your job, scaffolding, affects your safety and also the safety of the workers who use the scaffolding that you've put up.